I got something else to show you guys. I got pretty good feedback on the other case I did that was 3D printed. This design was 3D printed. I think I'm gonna just do a series on just coming up with a concept and 3D printing these cases. So you guys ever have opportunity, you can print these at your house. But let's get into what I have here. And I wanted to use a smaller power supply so I could keep it much compact and more thinner when it comes to case design. So I decided to use a, a SFX power supply by ROG. Uh, but what's cool about this case design, it literally lines up with the new GPUs. So I wanted to design a case that's more modular, more separated for the hardware. So I did two different chassis that are kind of similar in design to give it that cohesive look to it. But I did want it an ATX size case. Turn this off for a second. So I had this CPU cooler installed. Taking this out, there's an Octo CPU cooler and I'm gonna install this Be Quiet Pure Rock LP cooler. This is more of a slim profile. So what I have right here in this side of the table is this where the GPU will be mounted to. So this section here, I want it where the GPU is mounted separately. And I was thinking like, how can I do this separately? And I was like, I just, instead of having the whole case all put together, the reason why I did it separately, because on the new GPUs, you got air, cool air pulling in and it exhausts from the back. But when you mount this on your case, you got cool air pulling in and it exhausts hot air into all the other hardware parts. So it ends up being a battle to try to cool that down. And the way this is gonna work, since these two are separate, so the cooling efficient will be much more efficient. So the CPU will have an air cooler on its own and it'll have fresh cool air always pulling in because that's all it is, it's open. So you get fresh air coming in and hot air coming out and it exhausts out so it doesn't affect your GPU. So if you turn your card around and having the back side, especially on a Founders Edition, so technically you got openings on the side here and here, so it's always gonna pull in cool air and exhaust hot air away from the hardware. So this is just a prototype I'm still working on on the final finishes, this is just print it and I primed and I still gotta bundle the edges so it's a seamless piece of material. But at the end of the day, I think it's gonna be freaking amazing. <laughs> 